You're listening to After the Review with Peter and Terrell. New episodes of our podcast are available every Tuesday afternoon on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Podbean. If you like our content, remember to comment, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the episode. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is After Review with Peter and Terrell. I'm your host, Peter, and with me again, the quarantine crew, Matt and Terrell. What's up, Matt? Hey, man, nothing much. Just, you know, playing a little Xbox here and there, catching some Mad L's with you guys. Uh, could be going a little bit better, but, you know, you'd think with all this time we'd be better, but, you know, here we are. A, a little <laughs> Xbox? How about a lot of Xbox? You're always on <laughs> Sea of Thieves? Is that what you call that game? Yeah, man, I'm just out there. You, made, it, a, you yeah. made us wait a whole hour yesterday. John John texts us, our good friend John. We play we play quads in Battle Royale and Warzone. And he said he'd be ready at 12 y'all's time, 10 my time. And then you didn't get on until 1 o'clock. So you made us wait a whole hour for your Sea of Thieves game. Uh, hey, could you please run through it? Maybe it's like a 30 second of what the game's about, since it's that important to you. Okay, all right. I got y'all. So Sea of Thieves is a game where you play as a pirate, and you go around the seas, and you uh, steal pirate loot from other players, and you battle forts, and you get your reputation up, and... You become a pirate legend when you get all the way to level 50, and I sound like a five-year-old describing this game. Oh, my gosh. Arr, <laughs> but, Steve uh, the Pirate? A, a scurvy. <laughs> I don't know if it helps your case or not. but No, it does not. <laughs> I was I was always wondering. I was like, what is this man making us wait so long for? Anyway, that's great to know. Uh, Pete, what have you been up to, man? You've just been sitting inside? Same. Doing a little runs here working and there? Out, working out every day, getting my runs in, getting some fresh air, not going stir crazy, trying to... You know, trying to kill some time watching this stuff. You know, I watched a little bit of the the Last Dance on Sunday. I yesterday I watched it. I recorded it. Watched the first hour of it or so. It's pretty good. I like yeah, it. The second the second episode's out, so I'm probably gonna yeah. watch it after this. Uh, yeah, from what I saw, I liked it. Um, I, do we know why they waited so? It's because the interviews they waited so long to come out with this or what? Yeah, I think Jordan approved it in 2016 when the Cavs won the title because he has to spite Braun. <laughs> oh, that's when he approved it? Okay. Yes, oh. in the middle of their parade, he announced it. No nice. way. Yes. I don't remember that. Yep, I they saw that. that they were talking about it. It's like, as soon as the Cavs came back from that title, I said, yeah, I'm going to do this. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Cool. Tip- yeah, typical. But, like, so, I'm guessing what took so long is the interviews. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah it's, I mean, those aren't easy to compile, and you got to compile all the footage and stuff and figure out the narrative you want to tell and everything like I that. Watched- I watched like the first like ten minutes, and the one thing I gathered is Steve Kerr looks the exact same as he did in the nineties. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I was literally, like, I literally looked yeah. at my dad and said he has not changed at all. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, he looked old as he looked old as hell then, but he looks good now for his age. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's one hundred percent. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that whole thing is cool. I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Um, I can't believe so far from when I first saw that they would. Like, why would the guy just want to rebuild? Why not just roll it to the wheels fall off and then, like, just, oh, it's all over. Now, I'm like, let's rebuild. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. They The whole thing, it's going to come out. The front, the whole front office thing is a disaster with the Bulls. Well, that, yeah. yeah. The owner is, yeah. that's what the, the one, that's one of the problem with the Bulls lately has been, like, the owner and, like, they don't really like to fire people and they believe too much in the GM. But they have hired a new GM. Um, so hopefully things will change, but you know the foundation they have now isn't great. So we'll see how things go. Yeah, did and you, did, oh, you, go ahead. did you see that the everyone was saying that the the evil guy in Space Jam was modeled after the GM for the Bulls? Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, oh yeah, he yeah, was Mary, modeled after Jerry Krause. Yes, <laughs> that was so yeah. funny when I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jordan just not a fan of his. Episode. Yeah. Jordan was yeah, not a fan just, of his at all. No, he's made jokes about him all the time. He said, "He said you want to go out and do a layups with us? We we'll have to lower the rim." I say, "God damn it, golly, <laughs> that's so bad." <laughs> but uh, I, I did, I did love Nick Wright. Nick Wright was coming out on this. He's like, "Old people be lying." Y'all tell me how what the knock on players today are is like, oh, minutes restrictions. And then we saw in the first uh, episode. Of, uh, whatever Jordan sat out the last thirty seconds of the fourth quarter of a playoff game because he was on such a tight minutes restriction. It's like okay, couldn't play the last thirty seconds because of his minutes restriction. And then they talked about guys being buddy buddy. And then there was a picture of him and uh Kevin McHale playing golf in the off season. Whatever. It's like see guys were friends. It's like nothing has changed. Everyone just he likes to 
you know, put some shine when everything's over. And I was like, eh, that's a good point. You know, guys have always been friends. Guys haven't been on minutes restrictions. It's not like anything new. Well, I feel like guys have always been friends. That it's just social media wasn't around. You know, like yeah, so. it's not so you don't see it so openly or whatever. You don't see no, so no so, banana yeah. boat pics coming out. Yeah, banana boat pics and all that stuff. I, I don't see what the problem is of people being friends at all. Like because they want because they had this idea that the '90s were gritty and dirty, and they were like guys killed each other going into the paint and stuff like that. But shoot, you watch the playoffs now, guys do the same thing. It's not like they're not competing as hard as they can trying to beat each other. You know, yeah, like, for sure. Like, I it, when you like, it's one of those things. Like, when you get in between the lines, there's no more friends. But like, as soon as you get off of them, like, you're still my buddy. Like, there's still life outside of like whatever sport you're playing. So there's no, it's no, it's be ridiculous to be like, oh, I hate you forever. Yeah, it's I know. Just stupid. Yeah, you could be like, you know, f you, talk as much shit as you want in, you know, playing the game. Like, want to kill that guy? Maybe be mad at him for a day after, but it's like, okay, you know, I get over, get over it. Although KG does really do hate LeBron in real life. He yeah, respects well, KG's. Not like KG's got a little bit of warped personality, I think. On he he yeah. thinks he's a lot. He's like Paul Pierce too. He thinks he, Paul Pierce thinks he's better than he actually is. I think so. Yeah, like that, that's guys. one of the things I. So I I like I have to somewhat like Paul Pierce because he went to Kansas, but like the other like the in a, NBA Paul Pierce, I do not like at all. Like not even a little bit. Um. So, but yeah, he thinks he's way better than what he actually is, and uh, I think he's just he's just salty that LeBron you know gave him that. Uh, and they, yeah, beating, and then they took Ray Allen. He, uh, yeah. somebody said he's, uh, basically Carmelo Anthony, but played for the greatest franchise in NBA history that's well managed, so he could be more successful. And I'm like, he's a less good version of Carmelo Anthony. He's a walking bucket. No. He's a walking bucket. Like and, but he didn't do anything in Boston by himself in the East. No, that's true. It's, and that's what Carmelo was. Carmelo was a walking bucket. I feel like they're, that's a pretty good uh, comparison. Yeah, but, but Carmelo was on like a terrible, you know, it's not like the Nuggets are a great franchise. And Carmelo at least got on places. The Celtics wouldn't go anywhere in the playoffs. And it's not like Paul Pierce was, by, I mean, it's not like the East was super stacked when Paul Pierce was playing in his prime over there. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. He just, yeah, the, the, those <laughs> Boston guys rubbed me the long way. But speaking of Boston, Rob Gronkowski is back. Yeah, not with the Patriots. Not with the Patriots. Just <laughs> traded, coming out of retirement. They're sending Gronk in a seventh for a fourth to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom and Rob reunited, and it feels so good. That, man, they're going to be so explosive on offense if you think about. It. Like, so they're going to have. They're still going to have OJ Howard, right? Mm-hmm. So I heard they're OJ trying Howard, to trade. Brock. I heard they're trying to trade OJ Howard. That would make sense. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, you pick. I up would a, do it. You pick up. How about you trade OJ Howard to Washington? Get Trent Williams as your left tackle. You think he has that kind oh, of trade value? Trent Williams is supposedly uh, rumored to go to the Browns. I just saw that. Oh, so the Browns aren't going to pick? They're not going to pick a tackle at ten. I feel like I feel like they they will. They already signed a right like, tackle though. Who was the tackle they? Sure, was the left tackle. The Trent Williams. I know. I'm saying if they trade for Trent Williams, they're not going to draft a tackle at ten. You're going to draft something on defense then. Maybe. Possibly. You know, he ran a yeah. 4 6 in college, by the way. Who, Trent Williams? Yes. Dude, that guy's that a freak. He, he looks yeah. athletic. Yeah, um, a friend that was ooh, a video guy. Or would, yeah. or would, or would, he, or would they trade uh, OBJ for Trent Williams? Obviously, you had to send more than just, you know, uh, Trent Williams if you're going to trade for OBJ and then send OBJ to the Redskins. Mm, maybe. But the Redskins. OBJ spitball three there. teams. Yeah. Three teams in six years. But like, I don't, I don't get it. They want to trade him for some reason. I then, I know you uh, texted us like a week ago about the Vikings trade. Supposedly that was like, you know, BS. Bogus or whatever. Yeah, I don't BS, know. Yes, but like that. People say they actually think they're gonna tra- they're gonna trade OBJ. So. I I know it came out. I was I was very mixed on it. I kind of liked the idea of getting OBJ for the cheap value. It was like a second and a fourth. That's great value. I don't think getting OBJ is is a is a bad thing. I don't. I know, like, he has, like, this bad... I, th- I think you're right. Colin Cowherd hit this really good on the head. It's a discipline thing. When he had when he had Tom Coughlin those first two years, he was great. Yeah. Was a, he needs structure. He wants to play... He yeah. wanted to play for Belichick. 
Yeah, I think I think I think he's a good. He's, yeah, he needs structure, and then the Browns definitely have structure, as you can see. They fired everyone, and they, I mean, you had he didn't play with Hugh, but he had you know Freddie Kitchens, and they fired the GM, and there's just no structure there. Plus, with the whole like you know Baker deal, the whole like that dynamic and everything. But he did have structure with his best friend, in some and somewhat. So I know that kind of the red flags if it can't work with his best friend. And, but I don't. I oh, I don't think it's. I mean, it's your best friend. He's not your structure. It's him and yeah, Baker sure. don't get along. It. They don't really get along. I, I heard. I don't know if they really don't get along because Baker kind of had his back and threw the, the athletic trainer under the bus. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, so, but that's Baker being stupid. I do remember that. Yeah. What else is no? I don't. Know. He just. I don't know. We'll they don't. They don't. Maybe their games don't fit more than anything. Like yeah, playing maybe together. that's it. But like, I don't think they don't click. They, they for. <laughs> Yeah, they he doesn't want to go to the Redskins though. No, he, he can't like go to the Redskins. No, you gotta. He's got to go to a winner. Do you think it would uh, work? You think it would kind of work though? Because Baker's a, you know, was an accurate quarterback, and I feel like OBJ's game is kind of like OBJ uh, wants the ball. He like he wants the ball like yeah. from deep across the middle, different things like that. Yeah. I just feel like OBJ. I mean, I don't know. Oh, we'll Baker. See. The problem is Baker forces stuff, which you shouldn't yeah. do. And I think OBJ understands that you don't. OBJ doesn't seem like a guy you have to force feed me the ball if I'm open. Hit me, but yeah, don't try and it's force like, something. Yeah, and like, and like, don't miss me when I'm open. Not open though, that's one of those things. Like, you know, I'm gonna be open. Give me the ball. Yeah, hit me. Uh, hit me. So, anyways, really go back real quick on Tampa Bay. Yes. If if Tom Brady can talk, you know, Bruce Arians into Gronk, and I know this is far, far left. Do you think there might be a possibility nope. he might be able to talk him nope. to AB? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Gronk is a different beast than AB. Gronk, there's not a – nobody has a single bad thing to say about Rob Gronkowski. I know. I except know. that he's it's a knucklehead. Totally no, it's a totally yeah. different – like, he's a, he's a good knucklehead. He's like – Yes, you know. he's a fun party guy. He is the hardest yeah. worker, and he's our, one of the best run-blocking tight ends in football. Bill Belichick says you're a good blocker. The first thing that comes to mind about Rob Gronkowski, he can, he's a great blocker. That says everything you need to know about Gronk. Is Gronk even 30 yet? Yeah. Gr- He's thirty one. Twenty nine. Okay. Thirty one. Yeah, but he got that. Yeah. He got that year off. I think that year off. He had, you know, I told. I, I mentioned this before the pod. A couple years off. No, he was only off a year. I told him about. Like, he's been yeah. hurt though, so like you know, he's got maybe he's a little younger than maybe. I see. mean, yeah, but then again, they were draining blood out of his chest cavity after the super after they won the Super Bowl two years ago. God, golly. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell status is, but yeah, I saw Gronk on and show somewhere I forget talking to somebody like last week and i saw him like oh gronk looking a little big man like oh he might be coming back because there was whispers like maybe gronk's interested in coming back and stuff i'm like he looks like he's putting on weight to come back because last year when they were saying oh gronk might come back and i saw him like that man is as skinny as can be he is not coming back this year he is not in football right. shape right he was like he looked like a freaking stick last year i know what you're talking about Lean man, yeah, but yeah. again, oh god, how do you? Dude, the NFC South offenses are unreal. The Falcons, the Saints, and now the Buccaneers. Like, how do you? Good luck stopping those teams. Those games might be in the forties. Right. Yeah, god. it'll be interesting yeah. to see. It'll be see. It'll be fun to see if it all comes together the right way, though. We've seen we've seen this happen, though. We've seen people. You know, put stars together, and it usually doesn't work out. So we'll see, though. Yeah, but you I I, mean? I like their coaching a lot. Bruce Arians is. The coach, you know, left that, which too. It's o- not. O-C. It's not like you know the Chip Kelly disaster in Philadelphia that happened, or anything yeah. like that. Bruce Arians seems to be. If you get Tom Brady, you you know the kind of respect that gets as a head coach. If you can get Tom Brady to come play for your franchise, and then God, I can't imagine what they're going to do with this. What do they pick? Fourteen. It looked like they were going to draft an offensive lineman, but now you might go. What you go rugs? Or Jer- if Ruggs is there? No, no, no. you go offensive lineman. You got to protect. Well, protect. not what if you trade for Trent Williams? You trade OJ Howard for Trent Williams. You put him at left tackle because your window's short. You're looking at your window as two years to go win this thing with Brady. Wow. And so oh, Trent Williams oh, is a good wow. fix. You play Trent Williams at left tackle. He's fresh. He was off all of last year and more. And then you draft like uh, Ruggs and put Ruggs in the slot. Holy crap. Qu- like, how do you stop that? You have Gronk. That's it. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and then Ruggs in the slot with the most accurate, one of the most accurate quarterbacks of all time that can distribute the ball and read defenses like nobody's business. I just don't think you. I, I don't. I'm not drafting Ruggs there. There's no need for that. Um, doesn't Trent Williams want to be paid though? 
I don't know exactly, but I think the Buccaneers have money, don't they? I don't know. I don't think they're playing anybody on defense. I think that defense is all young guys. I would, I would still, I would still add to the defense. I would go defense. I don't, I don't think you need to add a slot guy there. Like you have plenty, um, because you have still Chris Brake, who's really good as a tight end. Um, I just think you you have enough there to make it work, and then you don't need to draft rugs. You can fill some other holes, whatever you need. So that, that would be my plan. They're for sure going offensive line then, if that's what you think. Yeah, I think. I mean, you go offensive line, and hopefully, someone you can you can plug and play, and uh, do it that way. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's talk. What else is going that's, on? So Ruggs could take a year to really learn how to play. You know, who <sighs> says he comes? I don't. But he's such a slot. He can put him in the slot he's though, and he's just ready. easy, easy slot guy. I mean. I feel bad for. How about Julian Edelman? He uh, he all by himself now in New England. He is. I I. What is? But Julian Edelman is such a good guy. He wouldn't ask to get out of there. Oh bull crap! Uh, he wouldn't. Such a good guy. The man had a roid. Get... The man had a roid rage incident like what two months ago where he's jumping know, on a guy's but... car. <laughs> I know, but like I'm mean, not like that. I'm talking about like he's he's a crazy man outside the football. But I think in football he wouldn't do that. Um, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they can figure something out. I feel like if he would, I feel like if any time he'd be like, I want to get out of here too, send me with Gronk, it would be the time to be like, hey, can you package me in with Gronk? So, I mean, then you wouldn't need, definitely wouldn't need Henry Ruggs. Um, so we'll yeah. see. We'll see how it all shakes out. It's interesting. It's, it's I'm glad it happened. It's give us something to talk about. The draft's coming up. I think a lot of people are getting traded. I think Trent Williams will go. Uh, Leonard Fournette, obviously, he's been on the table. I think he will go as well. Um, so it'll be it'll be cool to see, and then we, then I think some of these other free agent pieces will fall. Like we're still waiting for Clowney and uh, Wentz and not Wentz. Uh, uh, uh Cam they, and Winston. Yeah, Winston. Yeah, not, yeah, Winston, yeah not Carson Wentz. Wentz. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Carson Wentz probably wants um uh, wants a uh, rugs. Rugs, yes, he wants yeah. a receiver. Like, somebody. He wants multiple receivers. He's not a receiver. He's like, listen, the first two picks. Draft. <laughs> yeah, but the first two or two picks better be receivers because it's a, a deep receiver class. He, here so. are the here are the th- first three rounds from the Eagles. I want a receiver, a receiver, or a tackle. Two. I want those three in any order. They need, a, right. they need some cornerbacks too, though. They gotta be able. To no, stop they got them. all. They, they got. They got what you call it. They just got Slay. Darius oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's. We right. got an elite lockdown corner now. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. Can't believe the Lions let him go for like what was it a fourth? Something. Yeah, they didn't want to pay him though. Yeah, he wants to get paid. And he what, wants to get paid. Uh, but does anybody know what the hell the Lions are doing? Are what is their plan? Because you were talking about last night Leonard Fournette to the Lions, maybe. And it was like, right. does. Anyone know what the Lions are doing? They're sitting there at three. They're not going to draft a quarterback. Stafford, I mean, let's be honest. Stafford needs to go the way of Phillip Rivers, Tom Brady, these old quarterbacks. He kind of needs a new team and fit on because the Lions aren't close at all. What What the hell are the Lions doing? Do they have a plan? They have, like, some good pieces, though. Like, they have good receivers. Yeah, but they're, they're so bad. But they're so yeah, they're dick. Bad. They're so they're bad. Dick. I know. I think – but like I don't I don't know is it the defense that's bad is the old, the O line was pretty bad I think they're I think Matt Patricia's uh, just not good I that seems yeah, to be the Belichick too. assistant M O they're not great Yeah well, maybe well, they're supposed well, to get dra- draft yeah. a cornerback so we'll see Or they're, they're gonna do. trade the pick I heard they're gonna trade the pick but now yeah, Washington's looking trade to pick. trade the pick They lost nine in a row by the way <sighs> That's the bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Yeah, I don't know that because they have like they have a good decent foundation, I think, and it's just like it's it's just a. I... Who's the who's the receiver they have that's really good? Kenny Galladay, he's a tall guy. Galladay, he's just like six four, runs like a four 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 five he, something. Yeah, like that. Kenny Galladay is pretty good, and yeah. the, and then they have a uh, starving Marvin Jones, who I love. Yeah, Marvin Jones is a baller for sure. But... Yeah, and so I read today Washington knows they're kind of far off and they're looking to trade the second pick. So that means Chase Young's now on the board, and that kind of throws everything into a frenzy if someone's looking to move up to get Chase Young because Chase Young is the best player in this draft, and I don't think it's close. Yeah, I'm just trying to go through who would trade up for him. Who's willing to give up? Who's got draft capital? Maybe the the Dolphins might trade up to get Uh, the quarterback. Yeah. I could see that. They could. How many? So what's what is their – how many picks do they have from this draft? 
Who are the Dolphins? 5, 18, 26, 39, and 56, like 17. 14 picks. Yeah, they got a lot of picks. They could trade the 18, the 26, and then probably next year's to get up to Chase Young, probably. Probably. We got to look at the point. I know we had, I sent y'all the thing for the point schedule. Right. They have every pick right on point. How good was that thing? So you can see how valuable picks are when you're yeah. looking at trades. Yeah. And it, I, just, I don't think they get up. I don't think the Redskins move. move? Chase Young. You don't yeah. think they move? I don't know. That was just the word out today. And then I read today, I also read that the Giants are looking to draft Herbert, or they're doing like their full due diligence on him with the new head coach. Who is? The Giants. They might be ditching Daniel Jones already. Oh my God. No <laughs> yeah, way. Man, that, it, always, it always feels like when a new staff comes in, it's like, well, I didn't pick that guy. You know, so there's like no rapport with him. You that's know? that's yeah. true. But like, I feel yeah. like if anything, that gives you the, the window to stay longer. It's like, this isn't my court. Like, the whole what's in Matt Nagy still. Matt Nagy's like he's not gonna be going for a while because he didn't he didn't draft Mr. Bish. He's like I want my quarterback. I didn't draft this guy. So right. I feel like if any anyways like you I mean do your due diligence and like you know if you want to draft a quarterback, yeah. ball, you do it. But I feel like that if anything you like hey I got to give it a year at least to see how this works out. And like right. after a year it's like okay I don't like this isn't this isn't my guy. And like okay we'll, we'll draft your guy. And then when you draft your guy it's like okay now I got to give the time to my guy the groom. So it buys you like an extra year and, or two years honestly. So You're right. not that that's you, the way not, not the way that you think, but I'm just saying. I mean yeah. th- they don't necessarily they draft, give you that time either. Okay, so the mock draft they have Tua going five. So now it could be bait. Yeah. Did you think about the think about this? It could be bait. They could be baiting somebody to trade up for them. Yeah, they got good mock could... round drafts for the Dolphins. Wow, this is good. Sorry, I just think the Dolphins. They who did they because they signed they signed a DN. They didn't sign DN. They signed somebody. No, the Dolphins are taking a quarterback. Byron, well, sure. they they got Byron Jones. No, they got Byron Jones. They got a defense lineman. They got is it Kava Noy? Kava Noy. So they got Kava Noy. No, obviously Kava Noy isn't Chase Young. Like, don't get me wrong here. But I'm just thinking, like, I don't think that's worth going up to get Chase Young. No, I but think... they might go up to get the quarterback. And then Trace Young is there at three, where Detroit's trying to move out of. They could trade 18 and 26, and I bet that would get them there. Yeah, no, oh, they, give them five. Yes. they give them five. They give Washington go get, five go and get 18. Justin? Yeah. Yeah. Or whoever their number one quarterback is. Hmm. What's with what's with Patriots old Patriots coaches always trading or signing old Patriots players? Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's a system. Like a well, yeah. they know those guys though. That's easy. Yeah, they know they know the locker room. They know how those guys would be. That, that I know the Lions are trying to do that. The Lions are trying to do that. They did. What they and yeah. yeah, and Miami's Jamie doing that. Collins. Yeah, I think that's who they did. Got Jamie Collins. Yeah, it makes sense though because you know those guys. You know they'll work hard. You know they're they're smart. And you're trying like, to instill a just, culture, and you know that they represent the your culture. No, yeah, yeah, but it's totally it still goes on thing where nothing. Bill Belichick assistants have all been terrible, except for the most successful has been Bill O'Brien. And Bill O'Brien every day makes me question why he has a job in this league. Flores has been so pretty good so far. Well, though. so yeah, From it's what? one year. We're one year in. Yeah. Flores is uh, no grade yet, no grade. Yeah, but oh hey, my god, no one can be worse than Bill O'Brien. No, <laughs> we can all agree on that. <laughs> Like, but like, yeah. And he's won the division. Like, what has he won the division four times? Like, he's won the division yeah. four out of six years. He's been there, something like that's that. That's what's insane. Yeah, that's what's insane about that to me. Like, he just seems so incompetent on the GM side. Yeah, I, I just don't know what the owner is just like. Hey, he's okay with these moves or whatever. But speaking of that, um, uh, DeAndre Hopkins came out today and said that uh, he asked for a raise because he knew Bill O'Brien would give it to him, so he wanted to get out of there. Like, that yeah, was he tactic. was not surprised when he got. When he got traded. He traded. He, he said he had no him. relationship with him. Yeah, it yeah. sounds about right. I mean, if the story's true about him, Bill and him getting in, getting into that little, like, you know, getting after it with each other, I, I don't know. It never seemed. Bill O'Brien seems like just, I don't know, he's got the butt chin. It just seems like a crotchety old guy. Dick. Yeah, he seems a like dick. a dick. He seems like a control freak. Like, like he, yeah. yeah, he needs to be his way or get out, like, uh. Like this is my program. If you if you're not with how it's ran, and then like get the f out type of deal. Yeah. That's like I feel bad style. for uh, Deshaun Watson because they win in spite. It feels like they win in spite of him. I mean, yeah, Bill did blow like, that that lead against the Chiefs this year in the playoffs. He didn't be. He absolutely blew it. Um. So thanks. Bill, <laughs> I saw this tweet. You like this tweet? I didn't see somebody. Somebody tweeted it was like uh, flaming hot tweets. So it was got people calling their shots that ended up right. And it was a guy tweet. He goes, "Deshaun Watson wins you 
the playoffs this year, gets you to the playoffs this year, Pat Mahomes gets you to the Super Bowl in three, when it was from, like, the day of the draft. And I was like, ooh, man, that turned out to be really right. Gee, yeah, yeah, that is that is straight super facts. super accurate. Sean Watson will get you to the playoffs early. He ain't winning you a Super Bowl. Pat Mahomes, the guy that may take a second, but he's gonna win you a Super Bowl. Yeah, well, it's pretty good. Uh, while we're on the Chiefs, real quick, I, I did get like a alert the other day. The Chiefs are thinking about moving up for Henry. Henry There's Rogers. no chance. They have zero capital. They have to trade Chris Jones. I'm just saying they. They're, I know they're open to it. They're I, op- I'm, they'd have they're open to. Tra- to I know. I I read that too. They have trained Chris Jones. Did you? Did you? You should have went through the link I sent you with all their draft points to get up to 13, where San Francisco's looking to trade 13 that they have and 31 to get more picks because they don't have a pick from the second to fifth round. So they're trying to acquire some picks to get to 13. Where rugs would be, you'd have to trade your entire draft plus a player. On the point values. I know. Saying, I don't think they'll do it, but I'm just saying that's what I saw. So, I mean, like hey, I said, you'd have to give your doubt, entire... Don't doubt Brent Veach and Andy Reid. Don't so doubt you'd, So you'd be okay with giving up your entire... You'd be okay with giving up your entire draft and Chris Jones to get there? I don't think, I don't think it's necessary, but I wouldn't doubt him. Yeah. Do, do you think that they... You think they would do that? No, I don't think they would. I just... Maybe they're messing with people. Yeah, I don't think... I like, dude, I I like them taking... How about they take uh, DeAndre Swift at running back? 32. I don't hate that. Great pick. I don't, I don't, I don't, hate, I don't that. hate that. I just think yeah. they need a linebacker, though. They they need a linebacker before they need a running back. I don't think the – what's the linebackers look like, though? I don't think there's any good linebackers that late. There's a guy from Wisconsin late. That's more of a – he feels more like a second-round guy to me. But he's not going to be there at the end of the second round. You could maybe move up a little bit and get Kenneth Murray. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know if they need a running back like that. They do need somebody. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I like this, where this is going. Who, say, Assuming your team doesn't trade up, who is your ideal pick for the Chiefs at 32? Like, so who falls to the Chiefs at 32, realistically falls to them? That I, I'd be like, oh, yes, yeah, this is, this like, is a, great. Yeah, you'd be so pumped if they drafted him. Like, don't be like, oh, like, uh, somebody retarded falls. Oh, like, no, if, if, if Swift fell, I'd be, I'd be happy if they took Swift and he fell. Like, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they need to, like, I don't think they need to move up and get him. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, say no moving up and somebody yeah, falls yeah, right to you. Yeah, so, if Swift's there at 32, I, I'm saying take him um, for sure. You're, or, so you're you know, ecstatic. That's who your I'm, dream pick would be at 32. You know, I, I know, I know who Matt's is. Yeah, I, I know. Come back to me because. All right, think about it. Think about it. Matt, why don't you tell everybody really, who your dream pick is for the Cowboys at 17? Oh crap! Did I tell you? Yeah, I thought, I thought you, t- you talked about it the other day. Who's falling down draft boards because of bad Wonderlick tests and injuries? Oh Tua! Oh Tua! Yeah, Tua! Yeah, dude, I wouldn't hate that. That's, no, hate wait. That. Why? The reason. Why the though? reason I said okay. The reason I say that is because of how. Uh, just because of his comments, like two months ago, he said he'd love to play for the Cowboys. And Who I like was? Tua, so. For they don't. They love to play for the Cowboys. They don't want to pay. You don't want to pay thirty million dollars for Dak Prescott either. It's actually thirty-two no, no. million why, dollars now. Why, why though? The the Cowboys are at a point they don't need to. They're at a point to restart. Like unless Tua comes out and he's he is a Deshaun Watson, Pat Mahomes, where the t- the foundation's there and he can they can plug and play. Like you know, like that does work. But sometimes the, the argument work. is, I know the argument is for people is he's not a downgrade from Dak Prescott starting this just, year. Well, my thing is with Dak, like he just like he's good. But he's not as good as as much money as he wants. I know the market would disagree with me, but he wants way more money than what he's worth. I think. But he, I know, I know he wins games. Like he wins games one hundred percent. No, but I don't like, think it's about that though. I think it's about is hey, you got me at an ultra discount for four years. That's fair. You need to pay. You need to like pretty much back pay me for what I've done and pay me for the future because this is my one time I'm gonna get paid. So I'm gonna make sure I get paid. Because I got paid dick before. I think that's more what it is. But, you know, that's that's totally fair. I just think the – I feel like when you turn down – you know, if the rumors were true, I think then you turn down like 35 a year or something like that, Pete. I can't. I yes. Can't back that so, up. I don't I think he turned, he he that. turned – and see, to me, that's what makes it so idiotic. Like, I would – like, that's generate – like, your grandkids, grandkids, grandkids. They're yeah, all but We'll be fine. Is you it, know what I mean? Is it – is it one of those I, things like he saw he saw Zeke hold out for money and Zeke got paid? Is it one of those things too? He's like, 
Well, yeah. my counterpart sit out for money and he got paid. So why would not I sit out to get what I want? You know what I mean? And I, and I think that was a mistake to pay Zeke too. Cause then it, he jumped the line theoretically, if you think about it, cause Dak was supposed to get paid first and then Amari. And then yeah, Zeke, Zeke technically already kind of got he paid cut already. Cause he cut in line. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and I think, yeah, that's probably part of it. Cause like, Oh, y'all broke it off for Zeke. I see what you, I see where you're coming from. Like he, he broke, they broke it off for Zeke and then Dak's like, okay, well I'm here making an hour. What is he making? Like six hundred? He was making nothing as a fourth round pick. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. And so, that. and so, but I think another thing too to think about is he plays for the Cowboys. He's going to get any when he wants. He'll have um, the job after. He'll have a job after. Like it, it's just like kind of like Romo, Aikman, all of them, Staubach. Like they all have had like very successful but, business lives in the Dallas area. And other that's places. true. But then, like, so, if you look, yeah. not mean to cut you off again, but if you look at what they paid Romo, like he, like those, all those years, it's like. Yeah, it's like why can I not get you no know, that type of money too? And it's Romo like also, Romo also carried those teams to eight and eight that should have been like four win teams. There was a lot of bad, bad cowboy teams that Romo carried to decent records. I think That's people. What... I think I think the off front office is scared to pay him because they're in their mind they're thinking, okay, well we got you, Mario Cooper. You have Ezekiel Elliott who can do literally everything on the field. And you got we, your own line. To we pay the you. we pay the most. We have the highest paid offensive line, and we're still going eight and eight. Like, and I think in their mind, they're like, well, right or wrong, they're probably in their head, like, well, Tony Romo was healthy with this team. What would he have done? You know, I, I think Maybe. That's, I... that's what, that, from Jerry's perspective, because I'm sure that's probably how he thinks is, well, I mean, if Romo was in there, maybe we would have won 3, 14 and 2, possibly uh, make a Super Bowl run. You know, like, I want to question just... Dak's, like, judgment now, too. Like, Dak's been great off the field guy, but now he's throwing, he's throwing these gatherings, breaking quarantine over here for his birthday party. Oh, no. Like, what is his I'm money not, doing? No, nah, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting into that because that Jerry's never really cared about shit like that. I, I understand don't really that, that, but that's judgment. bad judgment from my quarterback trying to get a long term deal. I, it's bad no, judgment. but like that. Zeke was doing the same thing. As yeah, Zeke Zeke's went, my like, running back. Zeke's not my quarterback. I have matter, an issue with paying it. Zeke too. Okay, I'm saying that, but like that's not Jerry's like, having. Jerry's having deep regrets for overpaying Zeke, his boy that he's defended, and how he don't want to yeah. overpay Dak, and then maybe he's seeing that, maybe Dak do some it. stuff. But like that's the wrong that's the wrong owner to go about that that conversation with because Jerry's never really he cares about that stuff. Everybody. But he's broken it off everybody. He's signed players who've done things like that and Yeah, you know. they just signed so Alvin was, whatever, they signed Alvin Smith too. Yeah, so I think that's the wrong owner to purchase like to say that would say something Alden like that. Smith. Yeah, Alden Smith. I just think I I told you this is how you fix it is that Jerry just and you know, he goes, you know, and say, Hey listen, I'm giving you a little piece of this oil money. Come on now. Dang. Did you hear what? There ain't no oil money anymore. Jesus. <laughs> real, real quick. Real quick. Did you see how Alden Smith, how that all went down with him signing with the Cowboys? Have y'all heard about that? No. No. So I, apparently no, him not. and Mike McCarthy, him and Mike McCarthy worked out at the same gym and became like homeboys. Oh, with, the gla- with Glazer. Yeah. And then apparently, you know, Mike McCarthy and Jay Glazer got the chat and they're like, oh, Alden Smith is like you know, really, like, turned himself around and blah, blah, blah. And, like, he's, like, a new guy and, like, blah, blah, blah. And so I always think it's interesting, like, how all that always works. Like, because I was so, like, it was so out of left field for them to sign Alden Smith. To me, like, I would never have went, oh, the Cowboys are going to sign Alden Smith. So yeah. I, I just thought that was interesting. I heard that on the radio a couple of days apparently ago. He's, I thought that was interesting. Apparently he's been clean for a long time now, they said. Yeah, which, which is good for him, I'm glad. But yeah. That's good, you know? yeah. But yeah, it's always uh, nice but, to get players of that caliber that they can reboot and be what like a three four fourth of what they, they were. They said he's like forty it's pounds awesome. heavier too, and he's still running at about the same speed, which is kind of scary. He's a freak. Is he thirty yet? Is he's he like thirty. I think 30? he's thirty one. He's a little bit okay. older at this point. So yeah, kind of but he doesn't have the mileage either. So yeah, who, who knows? All right, Terrell, do you but, think? Uh, do you figure out who your dream pick would be at thirty two? I, I I'm still with the Zach Braun. I like the Zach Braun pick or Swift. I think I you know I'm. I'm a big believer is that like Mahomes can you know you know they'll always you know be able to go get a touchdown but like one of these days it's gonna you know it's not gonna work out the ball's not gonna bounce the right way and the defense is gonna need to step up and they've been pretty good they are a hundred percent a bend but don't break type of defense and I think you know that's add some linebackers in there to fill the fill the you know the run gas because the run defense isn't still great and if you know if they have a chance of losing Chris Jones or you sitting out you know we need to get you new know, linebackers in there and the interior sold up so that would be my ideal pick i don't think he's going to actually be there. I, don't think, I think he'll be there i think he'll be there i don't think he'll like he'll follow us i think he'll be there and i think i'd be okay with that pick all right that's good all right well for me at 22 
I would be ecstatic. It's not going to happen if one of the tackles fell to us. Andrew Thomas from Georgia, ugh, he's probably the fourth tackle that's coming off. I would be ecstatic if we could get a tackle at 22 that's not Austin Jackson, the fifth tackle. So that'd be an ideal. And then for 25, I would... I'm really, I really like Justin Jefferson. I think that's a great replacement for Diggs in that in our offense. Great route runner, great hands, fit. He's right. the number two receiver. Good yes, tight end. OBJ's good for him. Yeah, fits. I mean, I think that fits our offense. I don't think we're going to take a receiver that high because of the Treadwell disaster of picking a receiver in the first round. I was just about round, to ask you time. about that. So I don't yeah. think it. And then it is a super deep receiver draft. I could see us going right. with. I mean, any of uh, the guys, uh, homeboy from Colorado, what's his name? Um, oh, I don't know his oh, name. Uh, Shamal. Uh, LaVisca. LaVisca. Yeah, LaVisca. Shamal. Yeah, but probably he's injury prone. Brandon Ayuk from Arizona State, another one. Mims from uh, Baylor. Baylor. T- I wouldn't yeah. mind T. Higgins is a second round guy. Is there is a I big... think T. Higgins would be gone for them, though. I don't know. T. Higgins is all over the place. I mean, these rece- this this draft is so, so deep at receivers, so I don't think we're going to draft a receiver high. I If Justin Jefferson's there, I want us to take him because I think he's clearly the fourth best receiver in this draft behind the big, the three big dogs, C.D., Judy, and Ruggs. Um, if, and by any miracle, those three are sitting there. Oh, please, God, take one of them. But other than what that... What do you think about K.J. Handler? Uh, I don't. Stay. Yeah. He can fly, dude. I don't know. I mean, if you're waiting to the second and the, the, the third the round, second. yeah, I would. I Michael Pittman Jr. is a name I'm hearing. That's yeah, okay. a decent second or decent third round guy, maybe second is round that guy. That Arizona? Is it Arizona? No, it's yeah. a USC wide receiver. USC. USC right. Yeah. So I like him. They say he's a great character guy, which you know that's kind of a thing that we like to have. We don't need any more diva receivers after the whole Stephon Diggs deal. So I don't know. Oh. I wouldn't hate. Hey, I will be sick though, if uh, what's his face? If love, if uh, Jordan Love is taken by the Packers, and it'll be a repeat of the Aaron Rodgers thing, where the Vikings had two picks in '05 before Aaron Rodgers was taken, and didn't take Aaron Rodgers because we had Dante Culpepper, and we have two picks in 2020, and don't take <laughs> Jordan Love because we have Kirk Cousins, and then Cousins is out in two years, like Culpepper was out in two years or a year. And then Jordan right. Love is the next 20 years again, like Favre and Rodgers. I'd just be sick. I can already see it happening. <laughs> Don't you want Fromm, though? What? I, I like Fromm as a later-round pick, not as a first yeah, round, yeah. like as a third-round pick. I'm just saying. Obviously. I'm just saying. I can see it. Jordan Love. I mean, the hype is Jordan Love could be that guy, you know? I got to I gotta ask about Fromm, though. How do you think he would do playing at Chicago and, and then Green Bay in, like, December? I don't know because our 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 offense is built. He's a small guy. Yeah, know, but we're not a down. He's the, not. No, he's Big a from? his arm. No, he's a big guy. His arms not big. He doesn't have a huge he's, arm. Yeah, his, his arms not. So yeah, he's not. It's, it's like a Peyton, like It's like a Peyton Manning type arm. You know, he gets the. Jake from? He's, he's like six two. He makes he okay. makes the throws when he's he got to make throws. Hands though, right? I know that yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, small hands. May I think Burrow has small Burrow hands has too. the small okay. like the really yeah. small hands. But so does so does uh Mahomes and he throws perfectly fine in the snow. No, Mahomes, so Mahomes has is... Mahomes doesn't have small hands. He has average hands. Okay, well, but Joe he also has small hands, right? he's got a hose. Joe's he's also one. got a hose. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, I think it'll be throw fine. A fucking football. Through... No, nah, you're fine. <laughs> Go ahead. He could throw a football through a wall. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> um. But uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Yeah. Um. I like Fromm. Is he also scored on, good on the Wonderlick? That's what I like to see from my quarterbacks. I don't think a Wonderlick is make or break. You can only do bad on a Wonderlick. And you know Ryan Fitzpatrick infamously got the forty nine out of fifty, and you know doesn't determine greatness. But you know bad scores yeah. like Vince Young six was a pretty red flag indicator. <laughs> right. It turned that's because he. That's because he was at Cheesecake Factory or Long Longhorn Steakhouse too too many times. But it, he won do he. What was that? Cardell Jones. We ain't come for school. We came for football. <laughs> so yeah. That was that was Vince Young over there. He got a degree from the uh, prestigious University of Texas at Austin. <laughs> oh, here's Justin Jefferson. Okay, I was wondering where he was on this top fifty list. They have him at fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I don't Ruggs, know. Jerry. CD Next man. guy is, is T is T Higgins though. So if you get T Higgins there, I don't think it's a bad deal. Do you think T Higgins no, would be a good? No, Brandon Ayuk's the next guy, one at twenty four. Right? T Higgins is twenty seven. What? Uh, T Higgins pretty big guy, right? He's yeah, he's big. Player. He's that's the, his only knock. His knock is he's not a route runner or anything. He's a jump ball 
nasty yeah. guy. Get me the ball. He might be good. He might be good to partner up with a uh, or to uh, compliment. Um, Thiel, yeah, Thielen. Thielen and stuff. The problem is Cousins doesn't throw those balls. He don't throw. Yeah, go get the ball. True. He's got to be open for him to throw. He's a little conservative. Which all he's got is Brandon Ayuk a big guy too. He's the one from Arizona State. Yeah, no, he, he can fly. Yeah. And so who are the big guys in this draft? Who who are kind of like jump ball? Ceedee Lamb, T Higgins. Yeah. Um, Jerry Judy's a really good. Oh, uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Claypool, Claypool from Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah. just guys who can like fly. Just big, long guys. Oh, big, big. Uh, yeah, sorry. big, yeah. long guys that can catch the ball. But uh, that, well, that's kind of all. Yeah. That's out of the. Uh, that's out of style now. It feels like it's not as much as remember that what was it the early like the twenty twelve to twenty fifteen. It was big jump ball guys like the Mike Evans types like go get yeah. the freaking rock dominated the league and now it's more s- little bit smaller guys that can run because yeah, everything's yeah, so spread. Route. Yeah, you know who I'm interested to see where he goes. Who John- Jonathan Taylor? Oh yeah, that's a good. The running backs are all over the place. I saw. What was it? Who's the who's the running back from Florida State? Uh, oh, Cam Akers. Cam, yeah, Cam, Cam Akers. Akers. I saw. Was it a? Uh, it was Bucky Brooks had Cam Akers as his third ranked running back, and I was like, "What? Like, are you? Yeah, cra- people, people, people love him though. I no, he's say. yeah. I think they think he's actually really good, but this Florida State was an absolute I don't, mess. I don't know. Is he better than Clyde uh, Edwards Hilaire? Well, I think people like they both. They like both of them. But Clyde Edwards Hilaire is it? Isn't gonna? He's one of those guys you got to put on the field for him to be like. He's you're gonna watch his film. You're gonna be impressed, but you're gonna look at his workout and be like, eh. Right, numbers good, and thing like good thing there wasn't that. Good thing there wasn't that much workouts. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I think he's one of those guys that like, yeah. Once you get him, he's gonna he's gonna fit in the locker room and he's gonna work hard and play. But I don't know. It's all your fit and which what you want. I think Cam Akers gonna be good too. I think I think the running backs uh, we figured out they're just not as valued as, as much as they've been. That's yeah, so. that's true. Well, I don't, and I also don't think there's the running back in this draft that can do everything either. You know, like it was just. But we don't like, we don't really need that anymore. It's so much running yeah. back by committee now. I'm surprised there's no good tight ends on this draft after last year. There was like what three first round tight ends, and now they got nobody. You're right. I don't That's see any. Any here. sort. Oh, here, Cole, Cole yeah. Komet. Yeah, but he's like forty something, isn't he? Yeah, he's forty one. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, quick before I forget, we got to talk about this. Chargers just came out in New Jersey's today, and we got some. We got some points on. We got some opinions on these. I'm gonna put this on for those watching the video. I just pulled it up. We got a picture of these jerseys up on the screen now. Uh, Terrell, you don't like these. I love these. I don't like the mustard yellow pants. It's not uh, mustard yellow. It's it, classic it, it, yellow, bro, man. That's it, lightning a, bolt it, yellow. That it's is a, mustard yellow. It's a quote sunshine gold. Ooh, so, yeah. ooh look at that, sunny LA. Yeah. I dude. AKA mustard. <laughs> dude, these we're talking classic white helmets with the numbers on the helmet and the lightning bolt logo. I do like. I do like that. I do like the numbers with the lightning bolt logo. Um. The powder, yeah, I, I, those powder blue jerseys, I love. I like everything except those, except the yellow pants. Dude, that's my, that's pants. my, that's like and my then, favorite uniform. The yellow pants those, with the powder blue jerseys. And those like royal, those these royal uh, blue jerseys. Here, like I just don't like they don't like the one dark one makes sense, but the that's royal like the, blue ones. They're, dude, these are all like throwbacks to their best uniforms. That dark, yeah. super dark navy one on the far right there. That's I like that. That, I, like I love that. that they have the bolt as a different color too. It matched that. That's yeah, like their that '90s look. Sick. That's the classic '90s yeah. Navy Chargers. I don't know. The uh, Chargers have always had the best uniforms. And I think they just get better. Wait, so so the royal blue solid? That's their color rush. That's right? one of their color rush. Both the two yeah. See, dark like color it. ones I are like color that. rush. See, well, I like the royal blue better than those yellow pants. Those yellow pants are god awful. Dude, those <laughs> the yellow, yellow pants, pants are the yellow pants you. with the white lightning bolt. <laughs> those are sick. They're not. They're not. Rocky doesn't even like those. He came. He saw them and he walked away. You just hate man. It's just bad. You're just hating. I'm about to so, send you a pair of yellow pants over there. Yeah, send me a pair of yellow pants. I, I, I think this is just your chief bias showing over here. On... No, the, there's like, <laughs> my, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it at all. <laughs> me and my dad have talked about it. We would we'd want the Chiefs to switch it up. They're so old-fashioned. They would never. But we were thinking, like, what would the color rush jersey be? And it would be a yellow. And I'm like, ugh, that would look ugly. Like, no, so, you, I do don't all, know. The, you do all red with the Chiefs. I don't know you already know like the what would like if they did another color jersey like another oh jersey like a color. solid color jersey uh, yeah my dad my dad says gray which I would like to see how the gray would work out but I think they would have to didn't do they, somewhat with they could do yellow. like black too everybody can do black, black. I, 
Every good dude, it's just like black could go so bad or so. Like I don't How about know, all it's, white. It's I wouldn't mind all white. Do a reverse logo. So like the arrows Ooh. red and then the Casey's white, and do yeah. white helmets, white jerseys, white pants. They I really, I think it really just needs to. We need to. I know you talked. You said they they're working on it. They really should be able to do multiple color helmets. They are. Yeah, yeah. that's coming. I think but that's coming that, that alone would help. You know, some of these old fashioned teams who are never going to change their jerseys, but just they change the one, their helmets. The one all. And they can go. One. They can go all. You know, all one color. And you know, the, I think sometimes the teams go all one color. It's sick, especially if you go all white. It yeah. looks. Like, all white jerseys for the Chargers look fire. But you hate white helmets, I thought. No, like, if it's all white, it's great. But if, if that's my, like, that's my only helmet, I don't want all white helmets. Yeah, only helmet. okay. I would, I wouldn't mind the second color helmets. Like, if the Vikings did, see, I don't want them to do an all gold uniform with, like, a purple, like, purple horn. I wouldn't mind an all white Vikings uniform, but with the purple horn instead of the white horn on the helmets. That would look kind of nice. Yeah. That would look tough. Yeah. That or like black. I saw like an all black with like a purple outlines. So I don't know. How about the Cowboys? Those dark navies, right? Yeah, I like. See, I, I like their throwback. They're sixties um, with the white helmets, right? The six. Yeah, those are my favorite. Those. Those are. Heart. Those are my favorite two cowboy uniforms. Yeah. Those are classic. I love the. I love the the throwback socks, like the striped socks. You're, you're a big sock guy, Matt. I noticed. That. Yeah, I re- <laughs> I really dig the socks for sure. Um, but yeah, man, I haven't really like really dived in. I've seen people do like. Um, alternate cowboy jerseys, like mock-ups. Yeah, I wish they would change their pants a little bit for the Cowboys. I don't really like. Why you don't want to see the much. butt sweat stains anymore? <laughs> no, no. As soon as, before the game even starts, they sweat through already. I'm like, All right. yeah, yeah. I was like, we see, we see Dax the most because he's a quarterback. Yeah, he's always like, from my man. Yeah, my man Dax is already uh, sweat through his pants. <laughs> well, you see, we've seen starts. his pregame workout. Man, he's working hard over there. Yeah, he's yeah. loosening them hips up, dog. Dude, he, he doesn't have the pants on before then. He's just got the sweat. Yeah. Well, he's already so, sweating, yeah. man. He's working up. Yeah. He puts him on. He's already sweating. Yeah. <laughs> like, who else? Uh, the Patriots uh, updated Patriots. their uniforms, too, this year. Uh, they basically just went to their color rush. I like their road jerseys. They added the red stripe to them. Yeah, those are sick. I like that. Uh, who else? Oh, the Browns. Did we talk about the Browns hadn't come out with their jerseys yet, either? The Browns and the Falcons. So, also. Yeah, the Browns and the Falcons. The Browns went back to their classic look. With thank God, they went back to the brown jerseys. Yeah, let me look these up real quick. Yeah, it's pretty. See, I like those. It's, it's pretty. See, I've always they yeah. got the throwback socks. <laughs> Looking clean. Okay. But yeah, no, I, I like those jerseys. Those are pretty clean. Yeah, I think everyone's like doing. Right. Everyone's doing a pretty good job with the new jersey updates. Yeah. Well, except the Rams need to figure out their logo because it looks like an eight-year-old did it. But oh, God, that. that Ram logo is so bad. <laughs> I'm looking, yeah, looking at it right now on our draft pull-up where they have the... It's, it's pitiful. Wait, so did they do anything to the red jerseys, uh, the Patriots, or did they just do blue, blue and white? Oh, no, I don't know because the red jerseys leaked on, lo- like, on the shop. They became available, so they don't, I, they don't know what's going on. Maybe that's their color rush. They're going red with the silver. I don't. I don't know what's going yeah. on there. I've always the liked jerseys. their. I've always liked their red jerseys. Yeah, the red jerseys are fire. So, but the throwback logo. Yeah, they um, want to bring. That's what. That's what kind of started this. They want to bring back the Patriot Pat with the white helmets, with the guy snapping the football. Dude, they could do it. They could slap it on the silver helmets, probably. They could figure it out. <sighs> yeah, they could. It's just not as not as good. I think. I I like the whole idea of the Patriots doing totally new. Let's just get rid of the Tom Brady era. It's been twenty. They haven't changed their uniforms in twenty years. So since Brady's been there, now Brady's gone. Which new unis, everything. We're not the same Switch team. Yep. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that either. Um, I have one thing: Lamar Jackson cover of Madden Twenty One. That Thoughts. is nice. We're bringing back the Madden curse. I like it. Yeah, he said he's not. He said he's not worried about it. He said Mahomes the only curse. The said the only curse he wants is Mahomes winning the Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, That's the curse he wants. So. Yeah, well, it needs to come back to earth. The Madden curse needs to come back to earth a little bit. It does. So, that's um, true. Pat Mahomes was the cover and he won the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of oh, killed it, it all I don't play Madden, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah it, it was, I, I like, I mean, if, who else was it going to be? Him or McCaffrey on the cover? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, who else? Yeah, I, McCaffrey could go, could get his at so, Somebody tweeted, it's like, hey, Lamar Jackson, first running back on the cover of Madden <laughs> since Adrian Peterson. <laughs> oh, gosh. I laughed Probably. pretty hard. That was pretty good. Um, I, have I don't know. I'm looking. I, oh, yeah. I wanted to talk draft bets, like over under. I for no. Everyone's going crazy on the degenerate gamblers in us are getting that out. I'm trying to find. I think, uh, I think you're. I think you might be a little wrong with the, the trades. I think we're gonna have trades. 
Uh, the word is we might now have trades. Yeah, I think I think I think they'll they'll figure it. Out. I think no matter what, they're like, hey, we don't we can't we can't let this this the coronavirus shut us down from doing the right thing as an organization. The, the right so, thing there's a the, is the right thing. They're already making dang excuses. I know they ran the mock draft yesterday to practice, and there was a glitch on the first pick, and it sent them back two and a half minutes. But after that, it went smooth. John Elway said it went really smooth, and it wasn't bad. So everyone was like. Uh oh yeah, so they're already making excuses for when they mess up this draft, but this is not an issue. They should be fine. I think I think I've heard people, you know, talk about this draft and they're like, What do what do we think? I think we gonna think GMs are better in this draft or worse or or what's gonna happen. I think it's probably gonna end up being the same, but I think some of these GMs might luck out, and because I think that sometimes they fall in love with the guys when they come to visit and like their personality and different things like that, and they like you know they like the person and that sways them or whatever a uh, certain way. And I think maybe they'll just be looking at just film and like they'll see that you know we like this guy for what he is, and like you know we talk to him whatever we have Zoom call and all that, which is like whatever it's it is what it is. But I think they'll fall in love more with the guy on the field than. And like they can fall in love with a guy because he's a great locker room guy or whatever and all this this and that. So yeah, looking, we'll see how it shakes out. I'm looking at this. They have uh they have your boy. When is Jalen Hurts drafted? Second, third, fourth through seventh of the first round, and the uh, second round is the favorite at minus one thirty right now. Yeah, let's let's go. I, I, I think second. Who do they have? Do they have? They don't have the team. They just have the bet nods on that. Who am, am, I, am I buying Who? Jalen Hurts jersey? Absolutely. What if it's those ugly Charger that, jerseys? Uh, that is one of the teams. That is one of the teams. I'll, I'll get the white one. I, they don't no. wear the pants. I'll no, you the get pants. the dark navy. Get the dark navy one. Those are sick. That's right. But can yeah. I get a Charger jersey? I don't know. Can you get a Charger? That's like me getting a Packer jersey, dude. That's pretty bad. That's like me getting an Eagles jersey. Yeah. I don't know though. Like, we, the, she said the Raiders more than I hate the Chargers. <sighs> it's it's not it's not that bad. Like it is what it is. So it's Probably more like gets drafted to. Yeah. It's more like Not you get like a more like you get like a Lions jersey. Lions jersey. Yeah, yeah. Lions jersey. All right. I got Redskins for me then, because oh, maybe. Well, yeah, because you weren't around. Bad. You weren't around. Matt ain't around in the '90s. The Redskins and the Cowboys, man, that used to be a lot bigger thing. Yeah, it's more the Eagles for me. I just can't stand them. Let's see. I'm looking at these first round pro. I like these. Ooh, uh, more players drafted, offensive or defensive players. That's definitely gonna be offensive players. I think offense easily. But yeah, it's easily. A offense heavy draft. There I might like... be five receivers taken in the first draft in the first round. Yeah, there really could be. I like this. They have more. Uh... Ooh, here's a good one. More first round players drafted. Alabama, LSU is about the same Alabama. odds. Uh, well. Joe Burrow. In the first round, more first round. Clyde, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. May, he Jackson. may not be a first round pick. Clavion Chase on Patrick Queen. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh Clyde uh Clyde's a first round pick. Yeah, yeah he'll probably be like he'll probably be like a second round pick. Or 50 or something. Uh, so that's Maybe a good LSU. One. Uh, LSU. I like that. LSU is a half a pick or Alabama's half a pick favorite, but that Well, let's great. think about it. Let's let's just think about go down the line and like Let's just see the two We got two Bama Joe. receivers. Two big receivers, two, uh, and then uh, offense tackle, and then maybe the safety. Xavier McKinney. Yeah. yeah. So, that's so five. maybe five. Five. And then and we then got LSU. Joe Burrow is easily getting picked. Mm-hmm. And then we got uh, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. Uh, and then Queen. we got the Queen. Queen. And Chase then, on. Mm. Chase on. And then the, if – uh, I don't think that safety is going to sneak in. So I would say yeah, Bama. Delpit, oh, Grant Delpit. Yeah, Delpit, Delpit yeah, might. I, I it depends I who goes first, Delpit or McKinney. It might. Be, I mean, I've seen yeah. both. I've seen them both boards. That's going to be the swaying pick, maybe. Yeah. All right. Here's here's my favorite. Over under four and a half quarterbacks taken in the first round. So that would be Joe Burrow, Tua, Jordan Love, Herbert. Yeah. And, mm. and then I'm missing a five. So yeah. yeah. So do they take? Or I, I mean, not four and a half, three and a half. Um, so does Jordan Love uh, sneak into the first round? Yeah, I'm taking the over on that. Yeah, someone, someone's in love with Jordan Love. Someone's doing it. Yeah. Someone has talked their staff into loving Jordan Love. Do you think someone well, talked their staff into loving Jalen Hurts like that too to make a five? Something crazy? Well, no, I think they can wait. What's they your wait. What's your opinion on Jordan Love, Terrell? Uh, well, I haven't I haven't actually watched any much, but this is what I've heard is that he had a great junior year when his staff when he had Matt. Uh, the guy from Texas Tech, the quarterback, that, I mean the coach there, Matt Wells. He, yeah. Matt Wells, yeah. And then, then that whole staff, everyone left. I think his quarterbacks left. Then I mean, not quarterback. He's the quarterback. The receivers left. The O line left. The staff left. And he had a horrible year. 
So I don't know. I don't know. So apparently, apparently the new coaching staff, everywhere he's been, the quarterbacks he's had, and he's had two good. He was at Wisconsin and Oregon State beforehand, and he's had good quarterbacks both times, and they've had worse seasons under him. So it really might be the coach that he had. The quarterbacks are statistically worse under the coaching staff. So let's just go Joe Burrow, Cincinnati, Tula, probably Miami. And Jordan Love could have stayed another year, though. Yeah, could've. maybe he just wanted to get. The he could have great, could have transferred, went to Texas Tech, figured it all out. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. Uh, like if you're, I think if you're a team, like if, it makes sense. If you're like if the Packers, like if you like want a guy can like prosper, grow up, like it's just kind of like a Garoppolo situation. I think that's a great pick. But if you're looking for like him to be your your staple, day your day one guy, then they're probably not. Like I don't know. Maybe not. So, yeah, I just think he has all the intangibles for sure. He does, and I think maybe him learning under someone would be great. Like, I Mahomes is going to be good, but I think him learning under Alex Smith for a year was was probably one of the greatest things for him that no one ever mentions. Uh, all right. So, how many uh, how many trades do you think, Terrell? You think there's going to be a lot? Give me a number. What number do you think of trades we're going to have? Can we do three and a half? Is that is that a solid? You want to you want to say? So you're saying. Three, there's only going to be three trades in the first round. That's down. That's a low average. I think there's a yeah, lot more. Normally. I was going to say six. I was going to say six. Six. Right, six. That's a good number. If it's going to be the same as usual, that's about the number, I think. Washington, maybe Washington, Detroit. Mm-hmm. Car- Carolina. Okay, I'll go. I'll say four. I don't. See, no, I'll you stick- all. No, I'll, no, no, I'll stick on my three and a half. I'll so you're so you're going you hold up, Terrell. You just said we're not gonna let the coronavirus stop us, GMs. You think, and now I'm um, that that's a low number of trades in the first round. That's a super low number. Low number. I think they averaged like seven or eight the last three mm. years. Mm. Seven or eight? What the heck? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, think you pay attention to the draft much, do you? I do pay attention to the draft. I just like these. Here you go. Here's like, a trade. Say Detroit. So say Washington or Detroit. That's one. Um, okay. San Francisco, that's two. Let's see. Atlanta moving up, that's three. Philadelphia moving up, that's four. Somebody moving up to get Jordan Love, that's five. Okay. So, hmm? I will. I will. I will say. You say. Mm, I'm not, I can't go as high as six. I will say five. All I will right, say five. five. I think it's gonna be. I, I think it's gonna be low. I'm saying like. I'm gonna say four. I'm gonna take the low number. Probably Matt's gonna be right. There's gonna be like ten. You just gave, you just gave me so much shit for. for yeah, I've three. been saying it's, like, it's gonna oh, be four. low. Yeah, I'm sticking with my position. I said it was gonna be low. You said it wasn't. I well, I thought you you thought I was thinking when you said there's no trades. I took. I didn't say no trades, not like, zero. I'm not special. Come on, man. <laughs> like it's not a special <laughs> year. It's like you you there's okay. You're gonna trade. Guys want to move up. I've been here a lot of guys, but a lot of people want to move up. So yeah, maybe, but everybody yeah. talks. This is a lot of talk. They got give no, me, no, give got me no an over, over under. I don't want to set a number. All right. Give me over, over under yeah. five and a half. Under. Over. over. All right. Over under. I like it. That's the split right there. I'm definitely. Everyone knows I'm under, but that's a good number. Okay. Matt's going to be right. There's going to be like 10 okay. trades. It's going to be wacky. I just, I just feel like for sure Washington. Why? Why? Yeah. My, oh, Convince me why Washington moves out because they are Chase. not anywhere close to winning football games. They need multiple Chase pieces. Young is a waste of a pick. Yeah. They need it's multiple. Not a waste. It's okay. Sorry, sorry. It's not a waste of a pick. It's just they're you, they're not going to get anywhere with him. You're not close. Washington is not yeah. close at all. Like Detroit, not close. You got to build up a. You got to build a foundation though. You but you need more. Somewhere. You build a foundation with multiple picks. They don't have a second round pick. Oh, they don't have a second round pick. No. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. See Washington for sure, Detroit not close. Miami might as well just stay there. Miami's good. Miami's got more picks than anybody. They can. So who's going to get Chase Young then? I don't know. That's the point. Who's going to come up? Who's going to take the bait? Who's going to take the bait and chase? No, sorry. No, because the no. Giants like Simmons. Maybe they should go get Chase Young though. That's who's gonna... way more for sure deal. I I like Simmons, but I like him. I like what he does. But all every time we get a guy like this, he. He flames out. He's not what do you as mean? good as we think he's. Khalil Mack. 
Khalil Mack isn't like Simmons. Simmons is like a safety linebacker hybrid. He's a cover. I understand. He's a high. He's a tweener. You say anytime we get a tweener, we had a tweener. No, 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 not a tweener. I'm talking about a guy who can go in between. Like he can do like Jabril Peppers is like that. And, like obviously Jabril Peppers can take but that we high. Knew, but we like, knew we knew Jabril Peppers was super undersized. Simmons is not undersized. He is well yeah, big and he runs no, well I, fast. I know, and we just get blown away by the forty time and the size. Well, I think he can cover can tight be, ends. I he just, can actually cover tight ends, and then you have him in run coverage too. You're not giving I away just, run coverage. I mean, I hate to talk. Kid. You know, you know, I don't like talking bad about anybody. But like, if if there was like, oh, this is my bust alert, he'd be one. Yeah. Really, uh, really. I, I would have said Derek. I, like I would have said Derek Brown from Auburn because Auburn D oh, well, uh, Auburn D linemen tend to bust. He had a it's bad year that, too, didn't he? This year. Uh, I don't think so. Pretty good. Kind of uh, D Ford yeah. and D Ford is solid. I I like D Ford. He was good. Yeah, you like everybody. Like I said, like you said. But my point, I don't like to talk bad about the guy. But if I had to, like, if someone was like, "Hey, you know, I need a bust here," and yeah, I was yeah. like, ah, <laughs> I, <need a> bust. <laughs> I, mean, I guess. Um. Anyways, yeah. I don't. Know. I like D Ford. My dad doesn't like D Ford, but I thought he was good. Other than him being offsides, um, I thought he was all cost you a Super Bowl. Rip. There you rip. go. He did. It rip. It did. It cost me. Cost me. Yeah, but we, we got one back. He didn't you, get one, so I think it's fair, right? You could have had two. Only right. Could have easily two. had two. We don't know though. We don't. Know. You got to win Super Bowl though. You got to win it. Yeah. Okay. But like That's I true. said, you got to beat it. The Rams would have had to beat you twice. That's true. Yeah. All right. I think that's going to do it. That's it. We're out of time. We're way late. We're out of time. We got all the time. It was draft spectacular. I love it. I'm hyped. I know everybody's hyped. Are we going to come back? Are we going to like, are we going to double up real quick a 30 minute after post post draft? Are we going to first round? Yeah, we could. We can get, we can go. Should we do that? Yeah. Or we could go. Yeah. We're not doing anything else. That's true. I'm sure the people want it. They like it. No, yeah, there's no, no sports. Give them stuff. I like it. All right, so we'll be back Thursday night probably, maybe out Friday, reflecting. So uh, remember, if you like our stuff, share it, uh, subscribe, get us out there. We're trying to grow our base a little bit, and we will see you all Thursday, I guess. <laughs>